Hi, this is Annie Manning with Paint the Moon Photography, and I'm going to take you through another fly on the wall session today. This is the image that we will be working with, and the first thing I always do is make sure my exposure and my color is correct before moving on to anything else, and you'll notice this image is pretty blue and a little bit dark. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to my action palette over here, and I'm going to use my basic brighten and lighten action to just lighten it up a little bit before we start moving on to anything else and drag it down to about 80 percent and then I am going to I'm going to flatten throughout the tutorial um, after running each action I normally don't do that so um, my editing is non-destructive but to keep things simple so you can see what I'm doing at the time I'm going to keep flattening so just kind of ignore that part so flatten that and I'm going to run the exposure fix, which will allow me to paint on lighter or darker areas as I need them. So if I don't want the whole image lightened and I just want one part where I want her face over here in the shadows brightened up just a little bit, I'm going to grab a really large brush here. I want a white, br white brush. Make sure you're on your layer mask here, the black box. Paint with the white brush over this area here and it's going to lighten that up there. And I'm going to, I have my opacity really low on my brush. Let me drag that up to 100%. There we go. And put my opacity back down just a little bit and lighten just a tiny bit over here. And then I am going to flatten that. It's brightened up. You can see here we're already improving. We went from that to that. And I am going to next fix the color. We are looking really blue here. Somebody, I don't I won't say who, forgot to custom white balance on this. So we are gonna use the get rid of the wonky colors from the Miracle Makeover set. Run that. And I'm gonna turn down there's an automatic contrast boost inside there. I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit. And then I am going to it's and there's a lot of blue, so I'm going to click on get rid of the blue and turn that on. Bring it down just a little bit to about 85%. And I'm going to, there's a little cyan in there. I'm going to click on this get rid of cyan and drag that way down to about 10%. And so here is the before and here is the after. I'm going to bring my yellow up just a little bit more. So I'm going back to my get rid of the blue layer. I'm just going to leave that at 100%. And that looks pretty good. I'm going to flatten that. And next thing I am going to do is paint on some bright colors. So I'm going to go back to my essentials set and select paint on vibrant color. It'll take just a second to run. Now I'm going to select my, my layer mask here, the black box. Make sure I have white selected for my paintbrush. And I'm going to make my paintbrush size a little bit smaller to work with here. And I'm just going to quickly paint over the grass here. And I still have my opacity really low, so I'm going to turn that up so you can see just how powerful this is when it first starts out. And then I'm just going to quickly go over, I'm just going to go over her whole shirt and then I'll show you what I'll do afterwards with the colors we didn't want right out. Okay, so you see I missed some of those areas there and I'm going to select um, black for my brush and then go back to my layer mask and paint with the black brush and that will cover up all my mistakes and erase that back out. That looks pretty good. Now I'm going to lower my opacity because I don't want it to look neon to about 45% and flatten that. And then next I'm going to run out of the essential set again, whiten your whites, which removes color from your white areas in your image. 
and I'm going to run that over the shirt because it brought out a little cyan down in here. So I'm going to open this up so it doesn't take away my color in the flowers. I am going to open this up and I'm going to turn everything off except for the blues and the get rid of cyans. And I'm going to turn on make it whiter to make it a little bit brighter than it is. So now I select my layer mask, the black box on whiten your whitens and make sure I have white selected for my brush. And I'm going to do a really messy job and just go in here and paint around the white areas and you see it's taking hopefully you can see on this little video that it's taking away the cast there and turning it white. So really messy job. Do this quick to show you. And uh, that looks pretty good. Is that before and after? And flatten that. And now I'm going to run my Sparkle Eyes action from my Miracle Makeover set. And brighten those eyes up a little bit. She's got pretty good catch lights there already, but it could be a little bit brighter. This is just so asking me to do a, a whiten overall over the whole eye, and then it's going to blur it for us after that. <clears throat> Hit play again. Now it's asking me to run my brush over to sharpen up. Now I don't like my catch lights to have too much sharpness to them. They look just weird when it gets like that. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to lower my opacity to 50% and change my color to black and just go back over that to take some of that sharpness away on that sharp layer. And then hit play again. <clears throat> now it left us with a bunch of layers to play with. I'm going to turn my opacity and my brush way back up. And um, we have a remove blue cyan cast. If there was a blue or, or cyan cast in the eyes there, um, we could get rid of that. There, there's a little bit right there in the catch lights from the sky, but you know, that's fine too to leave that. Uh, make eye color brighter. Brush over the irises of the eye. And you always want to stay away from right under the eyelid up here. You don't want to brighten that up because there's naturally a shadow there. And same with the Make Whites Brighter. I usually don't use that um, layer unless there was a lot of shadow in the eye going on. It tends to make eyes pretty alien looking. But if you do use that layer, try not to get into the corners of the eyes. That will make you look really fake and plastic very quickly and be very, very, with the whole action, be very gentle with it. Um, you can kind of do the, that right around the, the pupil and the iris so it doesn't get into the corners. And then when you're done, <clears throat> zoom back out so you can see what the effect is overall and select your group layer and you can see how dramatic it is and you can make it as subtle or as dramatic as you want. See that kind of zombie look? We don't want that going on. So we're going to take it down to about 60%. And that looks pretty good. And flatten that. And now I'm just going to do a tiny little bit of correction more just to show you guys, not that she needs it. I'm going to hit Command J or Control J on a PC, Command J on a Mac to make an extra uh, copy of my background layer. And I am going to use my patch tool right here and select the under eye circles here. Select that, drag it to a clean area of the skin, drop it, and it just fades it right out. It's super easy. It's one of my favorite tools. Drop it down, let go, fades it right out. And then the reason we create did that on a separate layer is so we can drag our opacity down so it doesn't look too fake and she doesn't look like a plastic doll. So about 50% is good before or after. Pretty subtle, but you get the idea. And flatten that. And now we are going to, it's a little bit bright in the highlights. So I am going to bruise the essential set 
recover highlights to bring those back down just a little bit. So that's uh, before and after. I'm going to drag it down a little bit. I don't want it that dull looking. Uh, so there you go. And flatten that. And now I'm going to run my Get Some Clarity from the Essential set. Just give it a clear, crisp look. I'm going to select my brighter layer here and turn that way down because it's she was already getting too bright. And same with the contrast layer, turn it down just a little bit before and after and flatten that. And the last thing I'll do is my tack sharp from the essentials, run that and sharpen everything up. And like I said, I don't like my eyes to look too sharp. In fact, the whole thing looks a little bit too sharp to me. So I'm going to drag that layer down to 65 and make it clear down to 10. I'm going to get on my Tack Sharp layer mask here and select my black brush. And I'm going to drop the opacity down. I don't want to take it all the way off, but a little bit. Drag it down to 40% and run over the catch lights in our eyes here. And... take a little bit of sharpness away there so it doesn't look too, too sharp around her eyes. And here is our before and after sharpening. You probably can't see that in the little video. And to, to if you have a whole bunch of layers above your background layer and you want to see all at once, if they're not grouped, if you want to see all at once what your background looks like without the adjustments you've made on top, you can click Option and the eyeball next to visibility eyeball next to background and it will take those other layers away and then click it again and it'll bring them back and make them visible again and I believe that it's alt and click for a PC and it's option click for a Mac and that is our final image edit let me show you a before and after here is our before and here is our after. I think that's much better. All right, thanks for listening to me again, and we'll see you next week.